Hi everybody. Oh, actually, have I? Have I changed that slightly? Oh, I did. I I changed the uh, camera angle. Well, not the angle. I changed it so it's the right way around now. So if I hold anything up to the camera, it actually looks right rather than being backwards. Um. Doesn't quite look right, that. Well, whatever. Valley Hills. Hmm. Hmm. Anyway. <coughs> right. Hi, everybody. Yeah, so I am kind of looking off to the screen, which looks a bit kind of jarring, I think. I don't know if it matters. Um, but every now and then, like, I'll want to hold something up to the camera, like my coconut body oil. And this way you can read it. Yay! <coughs> you know what I mean? Oh, fuck. Oh, you <laughs> oh. <laughs> You got slain by cow. What a way to start a stream. That is a shame. Oh well. I forgot to grab a uh, soul dust. I've got oh shit! I don't have any either, but I'm in the storage room. I'll, I'll get you sword. That's what I was missing on my bar there. Right. Uh, looks like you need to head northwest. Yeah, head northwest. <clears throat> now, I've just eaten as well, like not long ago. So I was like having to fight from falling asleep, and I'm still quite tired. I'm feeling t I'm feeling the post eating tiredness, you know. So if I start nodding off, you'll understand why. Couple of things uh, has happened since I streamed last. Uh, nothing major. Go back. Aye, no worries. <clears throat> so I'll show you guys before we head off. Well, let's see that Void's gonna have to find his way back now. Um, I'll be dead again. Oh really? Mm. Uh, Liquid started to build an infernal library. Uh, oh, and I spawned right next to my place. Oh, wow, you lucky son of a bitch. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is kind of, this is going to be our infernal library. It's going to have a walkway all around the edge of it. Um, that's where the enchanter is going to go. And, uh, yeah, it's quite, ooh, hello, creeper. Liquid will be upset if I blow his place up. I'm just going to walk out of here and let it let it do its thing. Uh, yeah, so it's looking canny so far. I mean, yeah, it looks nice. It's ambitious, but well, I say it's ambitious. It's one material, so it, you know, it's stone brick. It's easy to make things look nice with stone brick, especially now that we've got that texture there as well. Lovely. Um, but uh, yeah, he's gonna have to sort that out. We don't want the brick to actually. No, no, that's not right. Are you looking at liquid room? <clears throat> I'm looking at the infernal library. It's just the way he's built the wall here. It's 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 just wrong, but it doesn't matter. I'll tell him when he comes on. Um, so yeah, there's that. <coughs> also, we started the um, the progression away from this farm. We've moved. Obviously, the wheat's come out and it's gone over there. Uh, the other night while I was at work, liquid came on. At, well, actually, I'll show you this first because I've I've moved. I've I've put a little bit of extra ground in over here so it, I've, I've narrowed the river a little bit in preparation for because we're going to we're going to tear this up and we're going to put villagers here um so we're going to build a blacksmith a butcher's and a church is going to go in this space and uh, it's going to have like little paths through and stuff and then we're going to move that bridge over to here and it's going to go over to that side over this side i filled in the um oh, squiddies squiddies 
I filled in a lot of the uh, the pit holes and and stuff. There was a um, there was a chasm here. That's not here anymore. Filled that in, so it's lovely and uh, smooth now. So you can still get to the chasm down here. There, there it is. There's the steps. There were the. I don't know if anyone remembers, but that was the chasm. So I've covered it over a few blocks deep, and uh, and so that's good. Um, yeah, stone fences. You can get stone fences in this, but they they're shit at the minute. I'm gonna work on the texture because the texture is absolutely diabolical. So I'll be I'll be I'll be improving the texture as well. Oh, is that is that over, is that sticks? Are you over at our barn? Let's see you over there. Yeah, it's me. Yeah, just trying to find you. Oh, there you are. Yeah, yeah, I'm just here. Um, I'm gonna do a router reset. I'm having in the issues. Right. Okay. Router. You mean right? You mean router? Is that what you meant? Router. I'm assuming you meant router. 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 Ru router. <laughs> router. 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 Is it is it spelled R O W T E R? No, it's the route. Oh, you mean root? Yeah, but with like but like it's pronounced route. No, it's pronounced root, like color. Color C O L O U R R O U T Color 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 is lovely. It's French. <laughs> it's a French word. Color. That's why it's got you in it. It's French origins. William the Conqueror brought it over, and he and he, and he did, you know I'm I don't know if that's true, but it makes sense. All right, I'm off to fix my internet box. Your your box of internet, okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, okay. So in a bit. So this is where the hemp is now. Uh, we'll put this to good use. This little peninsula section there. Um, looks canny. I, I was originally having a planning on having a bridge come from over there across to here, but yeah, this works. At least for now, we can always change it if we want. Liquid improved the bridge as well, so you're not bumping your feet off these stone uh, things anymore. So that's canny. And that's all that's changed, really. Um, oh, that, that's that been put in as well. He put that in to stop squids from sucking you out of there. I, I don't know. Um, I didn't really have much of a problem with that before, but he's put it there, so I'm, who might argue? You know what I mean? Also, uh, oh, one of the best bits... Um, I, ooh, look at that. I made the floor hibachis. Um, so at the push of a button, you can get bacon. Whoa, yeah. And that's all you need. One push of the button, it sets them all on fire and they burn. It's brilliant. Um, oh, I didn't mean to do that. I don't want to start the circuit because we've got enough food. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to leave that. But, yeah, I'll have to give you a demonstration another time because, uh, well, because there's no pigs in there. Because we've got loads of food. We don't need any more. Been trading a little bit with the villagers as well. Um, all of our farmers are now level 5. See all of our food we've got in there. Get some sandwiches. Chowder as well. They've been giving us chowder. Been trading with the uh, the, the butcher as well. We got, oh, we got a butcher. I don't know if anyone knows that or not. Um, I think I think that, I think think that I've streamed since then. Basically, uh, Styx came over and uh, he, he bred the blacksmith so he could take his blacksmith home and he got a butcher um so that was cool so yeah we got a butcher um oh okay he's cooking up here uh, liquid's cooking up cobble so i'll leave that running so yeah um got a but got a butcher i'll take you over there and have a look a uh, Do I have to paste that stupid message every time? Ah, oh, that's a shite, that like. There's the butcher. So, yeah, he wants eight raw wolf chops, which is going to be tough to get. Liver of the beast as well, which I've already traded with him once. I know we've got, we had one in the box, I traded that with him. And then potatoes, which we don't have yet. We still need to find them, so upsetting. Anyway, I am going to get ready to uh, go on an epic adventure, so that'd be cool. Void, are you coming up here? We're going to go to the west, and we're going to explore that area. Um, I was saying before, I think uh, between you, Maestro, and the couple down there, you should explore the southwest, southeast part of the main map 14. Yeah, I think I can do that. Yeah. Um, 
because you know um i am awesome but i have no i don't have the ability to really map the entire thing so should i, I bring I, map, I, map 50 map 50 yeah i think right. it's map 50 isn't it yes that's right bring map 50 that's what we're going to explore um i think i'll bring map uh I think I'll bring map 60 as well because we might end up like swinging around with the north maybe a little bit. I don't know. We might not. We might. I'm thinking probably do the the eastern side of map 50. So we might might want to bring map 45 as well, just in case. Uh, don't need map 14 because that's all explored on that side. But yeah, if you guys can get the rest of map 14 explored, that'd be cool. Uh. I might head down the coast and continue that, like, because obviously we can get straight into that sea from our house. So I might go down there one night and just, you know, f uh, fly down and, and, and just mark off the edge of the sea, you know. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but yes, map, uh, uh, map 50 and map 45. Have you been on much, by the way, Void? Just a little bit. Right, okay. Still at the windmill. Uh, it's ugly as shit, but at least it works. Right, okay, that's cool. Yeah. Right, and uh, right then. The maps. A couple of bolts. Alright. All reloaded with internets. Yay. <clears throat> the iron axe. I'm not bringing the efficiency 3 one. I've got, I got an efficiency 3 and break 3 iron axe, which was nice. Fancy. But I'm not bringing that out. I know. Very fancy. Fancy schmancy. Um, but I'm not bringing that out. That would be a silly idea. Oh, I also got an efficiency 3 and break 3 shovel. Although I think I already had that. So that's fine. Um, yes, now, I also have, I mean, I've been trading with the villager as well, with the butcher. That's why I've got kebabs, for those of you who are observant enough to notice. Um, I have kebabs because I traded with the butcher to get them, so, you know, that's why I've got steak and potatoes. I haven't been, uh, excuse me, I haven't been cheating or anything. Just, uh, you know, in case anyone was wondering. Right, so I'm bringing a load of food, which is the main thing that we uh, we tend to end up needing. And I'm good to go, I think. Um, I mean, I've just, I've just, I'm keeping it simple. I've brought the maps I need. I've got my iron armor. Um, you know, pretty much a stack oh, of uh, which ones are bringing iron. I'm bringing blast protection iron armor. Which maps are we bringing? Oh right, um, map fifty and forty-five. Have you not got them, like? No, because remember I lost them. Oh, I thought you made copies. Uh -uh. I still need to get copies of the other two that we lost. Um, we died the other day. <clears throat> all right. Well, I mean, they're all in the box here. I mean, feel free to come over and copy them whenever you want. I mean, you can make your own maps, can't you? Uh, yeah. Mm. Probably. Right. Okay. Yeah, so I've got I've got all the kind of necessary stuff. Uh, I might bring a well a stack of planks, just you know for the lols. Hi, Rip. Uh, see about uh, okay, give us a second. Oh, there you go. There it is. See you later, Mikey. Well, 
see if that loads up. It should do. Okay, so it's yeah, it's getting dark. It's a new moon. Uh, right. Okay, so void. Where are you? Are you still at your place? So my place. What's going to wait for tonight? Right. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Uh, yes, so anyway, uh, the idea is, and the process, uh, and order in which we're going to do them, I'm going to make a pumpkin and melon farm over on that side, that's where we're going to put, like, some of the farms and stuff, so pumpkin and melon farm, uh, probably going to end up putting, uh, the chicken coop over there, an automated turntable chicken feeder, uh, maybe, maybe we'll put it down here either, actually, but, um, I don't know, because the chickens make a lot of noise, so might just want to keep them over there. Um, and plus it'll be ideal because they'll be next to the farmer villages, and the farmers need eggs. So the kind of idea is so we can go over there and harvest everything that we need for the farmers. Uh, well, not everything, but, you know, a lot of the stuff. So pumpkins and melons will be able to farm over there. Um, I'll have the reed farm over there as well, probably. And... Um, We've got the wheat over there as well, which is that's just a farming area. That's what that's becoming. Um and then we're gonna we're gonna have the reeds over there. And uh, the chickens will lay their eggs as well. Uh might probably, in fact, probably will move the mycelium over there as well, because it makes more sense to have it over there than up the back back there. So that's probably what we'll do. So yeah. Yeah. Good times. Good times. Yeah. And that's that really, so yeah, I'm just gonna have a nod. A little bit of a snooze while I wait for Void, so do you wanna take over sticks? Sure. Um What's happening? I don't know. I'm half asleep maybe. Wait, Void, where, where you at? <laughs> what you what happened? I'm just Cow waiting for the night to go over. He's wait he's waiting for the night, yeah. Alright. Well, which way are we going? Is this a stereo mic or is it just a mono mic? Is the snowball just a mono mic? Is that just the same? Yeah, it seems to be, yeah. Yeah. Oh, well. Never mind. Um, which way are we going? Are we heading toward where Void is? Should we just... No, no, he's coming here because we're going west. So oh. if you look at the map, we're going, uh, we're going to the west. That the western map. We're going to do that, and we're going to get the east side of the western map. So we're going to kind of go, you know, we're going to kind of like explore it as it is. So just like move over, rather than just you know go all the way through the map. We're going to try and go up and down, up and down, up and down to try and you know uncover the okay. map systematically. Um, that's why I'm bringing map 45 as well, because 45 is the bottom left map, so we might kind of overspill into that one. I suppose technically we should bring map 40 as well, which is the one directly south. So, uh, you know, but, I mean, I suppose there's no harm in bringing it. You know, it takes up more space, who cares? I mean, if I die, we've still got, um, we've got copies you know it's not it doesn't take much to make a map it's soul urns and a bit of iron and all that crap you know what i mean so i want a troll to come in just as i'm pretending to nod off and i'd be like lol fatso fell asleep <laughs> 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 Must be too fucking old. Codger. Minecraft's for kids. I need to do some stranded deep. I need to do a, a, an episode on that. Or or some. Because it looks quite good. I mean, it won't last long. I mean, you know, once you've kind of built stuff and done what you can, then that's it, you know what I mean? Because it's procedurally generated. So... I know it's not going to last long because obviously once you've kind of explored a little bit you'll start seeing the same stuff you know um yeah I think so yeah can I set scripts up so when I remote on yeah I'm just going to check to see if I can set it. I need to type in something 
whenever I join the channel now in Merc, so it'll show up the joins and leaves. I don't know why. I don't know why they've changed this. I don't know. Uh, Merc. Uh, run a script when I join a channel. Join on connect script. No, that's not what I want. Oh. No. The script joins every server is now finished. However, when you connect to a server, you want to automatically identify you and join the channels. Ah, hmm. On connect. That's what I want. What does mystery mean? That's what happens when um, person. a person to person dies. So it's my own? Because I uh, found it in my cow's pen, pen. Oh yeah, yeah, that's 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 you. You could eat Ugh. yourself. Uh, right. Oh no, no, no. On connect. Uh, do that. I don't know if that's gonna work, but hmm, I don't know. Let's on. Can it, it looks like that could work. Uh, could try it. I'm gonna disconnect and then reconnect. Uh, final second. Ooh, yeah, 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 it worked. Hello. Ah. Oh. oh, everyone's disappeared. Let's see if that's worked. Oh, we'll have to see if that worked. <clears throat> right. Aye, so there's not a lot to do really now. I mean, I could do some chores, but can't be asked. You know what I mean? Chores like uh, dig up the melons. And uh, collect the hemp. What else? I'll check the trap. Oh shit! Jesus, I thought you were some kind of creep or something. There. <laughs> it's getting daylight now. Are you getting ready to come over? Yep, I'm pacing already, back and forth. Ah. Wasting food. Of course you are. Oh, hello. Oh, spider coming. Yeah, fucker. Yeah, fucker. Yeah, fuck her. That's not right. You know nowhere near me, arsehole. What are we doing here? Got a scroll. Find that in. Uh, I plenty of rotten flesh, like. Uh, oh, more scrolls. Wow, loads of iron. Ooh, I got looting three, smite four, knockback two. Might bring that along with us for the walls. Whoa! Efficiency five on break and three shovel. Oh yeah. Gonna use that for the lols as well. I'll bring that one along. I do like getting little surprises out of the uh out of the trap. Right, okay, so everything else can go. I'm gonna throw these iron shovels out. Don't really need them and that can just make space by doing that. Uh space for potentially more well, more gooder stuff. I don't really need any of these, like nitra, um, bones, creeper oysters, any of that. Not even rotten arrows, I've got loads of them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to line that with rotten flesh. And I'm going to line that one rotten flesh, because rotten flesh is what we want. For what? Uh, kibble. Kibble, so it's the only thing we actually need, you know what I mean? Out of out of what we're what we're getting from the trap. I mean, obviously the iron, we need that as well. But even the iron, we don't really need it that much. But I know that when we start building a few buildings again, we're probably going to want to use. Oh, hello! Bloody zombie just standing there, right next to the building. We're probably going to want to do uh, 
some iron aesthetic buildings. So, oh, we've got a load of uh, eggs in the chicken coop, but that's fine. We'll leave them there. They'll keep. They'll not go out of date. It'll be fine. I'm going to feed the chickens again before I leave. High front side. It's a bit warm in here, like a bit George Michael. I am so tired, it's ridiculous. I had a coffee yesterday, like an espresso. I was at work. And uh, and I was feeling it like I was because I um I ended up on like eight and a half eight and a half hour shift and I didn't get a break because you don't generally get a break on a PM but I started four and I was on a ten forty five but didn't get out till quarter past eleven and um quarter past twelve sorry and so I was um I was starting to flag a bit and I was like oh I was talking to my mate and I was just like oh you know I've I've got any energy like you know I had some food before I came out you know salmon and chicken and you know, I loaded up on the protein and all this stuff, and and it, you know, I just got, I, it's, you know, I've just got the energy, blah blah, blah. and uh, and then we got talking about coffee, and I was like saying, I wonder if actually it, you know, that's what I'm missing out on because lots of people drink coffee and they say it's got, you know, it gives you energy and gives you a kick and all that, and helps you get through the day and stuff, and I was like, I've always stayed clear of it because, you know, I don't, I just was like, well, that doesn't feel like it's a good thing for you, um, and I just stick to water because you know, water is obviously fantastic and uh and he was like oh well have a go and i was like so basically the, the long story short i just had to have a go and i just made myself an espresso and the coffee that we've got is quite nice actually but then again i don't really drink coffee so i don't really know what good and bad coffee tastes like so i just thought i'd have a go so i had got an espresso put a little bit of evian in it as well <laughs> just to cool it down a bit and i uh, just necked it and then uh and then went about the thing, and it and it's uh, yeah, I definitely felt something. Well, I say I definitely felt something. I don't know if it was the placebo effect. I could have just been like, oh yeah, oh my god, I'm <laughs> totally high right now. Um, so yeah, but that was good though. I got a bit of energy, so that was cunning. So I might start doing that a bit more when I'm at work and I'm flagging a bit because every now and then I'll be like, oh my god, I just want to fall asleep, or you know, I just my legs are aching and I don't want to work chopper! anymore, etc. Um, so that yeah, was cunning. Every morning. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, a lot of people do. So I just thought, well, you know, a lot of people do. So, yeah. Uh, don't really have air con in the UK. Don't need it generally because most of the time it's raining. So no one has air con in the house. Just no one. We don't have air conditioning in our houses over here. We just open the window. <laughs> <laughs> With that said, however, I've got a fan. There it is, and it's on. So that that's my aircon right there. Whoop. So, aye. Anyway, are you here? Hi. Oh, you are. Yeah, you're good. Oh, you've got some leather armor. Well done. Just one piece. Just one piece. Stone pick. Yeah. It's cool, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, you've got loads of iron, though, haven't you? How much iron have you got? Not enough to waste it. Oh, <laughs> get this guy. All right, okay, well, let's go. I was still got some daylight. Uh, map 40, no, 50, isn't it? 50, yeah. Mm. Right, okay, let's roll. We'll head, uh, yeah, we'll head out the village and then go out right there. You have aircon. Why do you have aircon in England? You don't need it. That's silly. Uh, up here. Gone the long way around, like, but never mind. You don't need aircon in the UK. You're a wimp. Can't take the heat. Not that there is any. I mean, there is right now, because it's warm. I keep seeing this. Does anyone else keep seeing this around their houses? The topless trees. Yeah. Uh-uh. Me seen either. it. I'm sitting there. There's another one over here. 
seeing it surprisingly often. And um, I, the only explanation I can think of is uh, lightning strikes. Oh, that's, that's not true. That's the only explanation I can think of. Um, so, wow, okay. Whoa, whoa, look at that down there. I've never seen this before. I haven't seen this. I don't know what that, I don't know where this came from. Look at that big hole down there. There's some iron right there. Where? To, to the right oh, of it. Oh, yeah. Can't be arsed again. Don't get that like. So how much iron have you got then? Void? I think there's about 50 left. 50 left. Oh, okay. Well, if, you, if you're conservative enough with it, that should last you until you get a crucible. So, you know, that'd be cool. Shit, I didn't bring my boats. Ah, oh, that's stupid. Isn't so, it? I got enough wood, I can just make some. Aye. I brought two, you can have mine. Well, you'll need boats as well. Ooh. Oh! 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 That was a delayed reaction. <laughs> Jesus! Run! You're gonna have to run now, John. Shovels on the bar. Sprint it, come on. Sprint it, come on. Where are you going? Ah, right, that's right. Ah, uh, you should... Mm, yeah, okay. Alright, okay, let's go. Have you started a mob trap yet, then, Void? No. Just okay. just the windmill. Ah, right, okay. You got a, you got a cauldron, though, right? Yep. Aye. Right. Start collecting those vines food. now. Start what? Collecting those vines now. Kai for the mob trap, yeah. Whoop. Oh. Whoop. Oh. What the hell Whoop. is this? Yeah. What's this nonsense? Don't know. Is that something you made? That must have been something you made. I would never make something so ugly. Of course <laughs> you wouldn't, no. Must have. Right, okay, let's, uh... Hop. Right, are we... Are we on this map yet? We're not, are we? Which map would this be? Oh, map to 50 I think yeah we need to get on um, yeah that's the thing I need to enable um, shadow play because now that I've kind of figured out that shadow play isn't really causing my crashes um, I'll have to re-enable that so I can do some shadow plays because I haven't done any on this world yet really That's a big jump, like, but you know. Uh, I gotta redeem myself from the last time. Yeah, go on then. Ah! You are <laughs> shit. <laughs> so you gotta sprint it, you know. I thought I was. Yeah, get out of there. Oh shit! Is it? It's. I don't like it down here. You got zombies coming. Ah! <laughs> There's something in that fucking cave. I know. Yeah, I heard it. Right, let's go quickly before it gets dark. Let's get a little there. bit further. Ah, there is I. Oh, shit. I mean, we can, you know, spelunk a little bit as well, Grab but to be honest, you got 50 ingots. 50 ingots, is that what you were talking about? Yeah. Aye, right, 50 ingots. I mean, you know, at that point, there's oh, not okay. really much 50, point. Uh, thingies. Nah, 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 we got 50 ingots. Because, I mean, we went we went down his mine shaft and helped him out the other night, and, you know. Oh, that was amazing. Uh, yeah, we've got loads. That really propelled him forward, so, I mean, you know. Not just in terms of iron. There was so much wood down there. Yeah, yeah, nah. We've we've got loads of that wood. I mean, we still we still got like two rows of it. It's crazy. Ah, oh, there we are. Right, so we need to head a bit north as well. Um. Oh shit! Be, I, yeah, what are you doing? Oh, oh, I don't know. I'm freak. I'm, I'm freaking out, man. <laughs> right. Okay. Let's uh, get under here. I'm starting to get all my achievements again in uh, Minecraft. I don't know what happened. Really? Yeah. That is weird. Sometimes that happens. Sometimes that happens. Phew! Right. Okay. 
Um, we're just mapping. I'm doing some mapping. That's all that's happening, really. We've gone off. Hi, Stealthy. <laughs> Took some photos of Saturn the other night. Did you get the boat? Yeah. Uh, no. I was going to make one right now. But no, I didn't, get, I didn't pick one up. Meshed you. Uh, probably. Yeah, I think you got my stack of wood too. I accidentally uh, dropped. Uh, half of sidings. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Cheers. I'm going to switch to this uh, iron sword with looting three, smite four, knock back two. I'm going to use that a bit. Hi, Sheepy. Um, and I can just show you guys a photo because. Uh, it's on my Facebook. There's not much to see. It's very blurry. Because it's low in the sky. That's it. <laughs> That's it, really. Is the camera going to focus on it? No, the camera's not working either. The camera's not focusing on it because it's a blurred picture. Come on, focus on the phone. Focus on the, come on, focus on this. Focus on my finger. Come on, focus. Focus. <laughs> it's not focusing. Why is it not focusing? Turn the phone to focus. There you are. That's that's pretty much in focus. It's the phones. You know, it's not very good quality photo. Because it's, um, I mean, you can see the rings, so that's something. Um, because Saturn this year won't really go above, I think it's 17 degrees high in the uh, in the sky. So the lower um, an object is in the sky, the harder it is to get a good picture of it. Because you've got to look through a lot of the atmosphere. Rather than looking straight up, you've got to look across. And so you end up... It, it, the image gets filtered through a lot of the atmosphere, and the atmosphere is thick and gloopy and shite. So that tends to what happens. So yeah, it, it's not um, it's not an ideal photo. I've seen Saturn better than that in another telescope. So I'll um, I'll be getting a better one. I'm I'm sure um, maybe next year or something. I don't know. I don't know when. Yeah, it looks a bit like a UFO. It does doesn't it? Hi, Eddie Cluox. If that's how you see your name. What's that sound? Me clapping. I don't know why I'm clapping. There's no reason. I'm trying to keep myself awake. Oh, yeah. I thought it was already at Pluto. Then take a photo of the moon. I thought I did. <coughs> well, the 30th, tomorrow night, um, what you call it? Nah, we're not playing Minecraft, we're playing a mod for it called Better Than Wolves. It's it's for men. This, this mod's for men. Because it's got um, very large pictures of penises in it, obviously. <laughs> All men secretly like a bit of penis, don't they? Is that, that is that's not just me, right? That that is all men, right? No, it's, I think it's gay obviously. if you don't. It is gay if you don't. Let's be honest. And obviously, you know, America do approve of gayness. So, who are we to mm -hmm. turn down a bit of cock? You know what I mean? So yeah, um, no, the thirtieth of June tomorrow night is when um, Venus and S Jupiter. I think it's Venus and Jupiter are very close, so you can hold your little finger up against the sky and you'll be able to cover both planets. That's how close they're going to be. So, you know, that'll be kind of cool. <laughs> I'll be looking at that. But they, they've been getting closer every every day this month. Um, so that's, that's good. You know, just something to look at. So, yeah. Wow! Well done, you you have intelligence. This this guy Fizzy thinks we're gay. 
what what tipped us off our love of the cock or <laughs> or what what else tipped us off um because i'll tell you what mate you are ahead of the curve when it comes to uh well yes we just said we like dick so yeah were you stupid you know, we just fucking told you i know we just fucking told you mate are you stupid like open your ears you know what i mean well name's fizzy soup fizzy soup fizzy soup jr in other words, he's the child of the family. Yeah, his dad's called Fizzy, Fizzy Soup, Soup as Senior well. Would be fucking upset with you. My <laughs> hair, <laughs> he would be, wouldn't he? My hair is up your ass, mate. So you might want to check there. Maybe Fizzy Soup put it there, because obviously you're a gay together, right? Because we're all gay. Because that's you know, we all love the cock, don't we? Is that is that yeah. not true? I'm pretty sure that's Bend true. Bend over in front of you. Yeah. <laughs> oh what a. <laughs> do that again there you go there you go you like that lads you like that you like a picture of a man's ass there look you see him see his ass you love it you love it disgusting boys disgusting boys with your love of penis brilliant well the moon's going down soon so at least that passed some time that was fun <clears throat> ah. I my hair like my hairline's not going many good places. I am gonna shave my head at some point, you know. I know I keep saying it, but it is happening. It is happening. Maybe next year. My hairdresser seems to think I've got another year or two left of, you know, being able to get away with, you know, the hair I've got left. <laughs> well, which your hairdresser now? Ooh. Well, I'd, I'd imagine she'd be, you know, I think she was probably conservative as well. You know, like, oh, I think you've got a year or two left. I'm like, oh, thanks. Uh, whatever. We didn't find carrots. Why do you think we've got carrots? Oh, right. Sorry. Yeah, kebabs. I've been trading with the butcher. Uh, he gave us kebabs. So, yeah. Your mate was bald by the time he was 20. Yeah, my dad started going bald in his early 20s. Uh, so, yeah. I do like astronomy. I do have a telescope. I have a Skywatcher 200p. And uh, it rocks my socks. Well, not as much as a better telescope would, but, you know, it's nice. It's nice for amateur ast astronomy-izing, if that is a word, which I'm sure it is. Because why wouldn't it be? Yeah, I do. Um, I, I like, I've like. i taken a few photos of um, Jupiter and um, the Orion Nebula. I've taken a photo of the Andromeda Galaxy as well. It wasn't a very good photo, though. I mean, it was all right, but... And that, like a few days later, NASA released their like eight billion megapixel version. I was like, you know what? Screw you, NASA. You know what I mean? Screw you with your millions and millions of pounds and your Hubble telescope. Fuck Hubble. You know what I mean? I'm sitting in my back garden, trying my best <laughs> with like eighty photos. I had eighty photos combined to make that picture of Andromeda, and it just looked like ass. <laughs> and then, like, NASA come along and they're like, oh, look at this beautifully coloured. And it literally made you cry. It was so beautiful. And, uh, and yeah, I, I was I was just deflated because I was so proud of it. And then the kid, it was literally, it was like, it was like someone from NASA had seen me photo and was like, you know what? Screw this twat. Let's show what we can do, lads. And they all pointed Hubble towards uh, Andromeda just to screw me over. Um, Should have pointed uh, it at your house. Eh? Uh? They should have pointed it at your house. Yeah, that would be hilarious. See me in the garden. Through, th point at me house, and through the, um, through the, through my own scope, and took a photo of Andromeda <laughs> through my telescope via Hubble, and it still would have been better. Crazy bastards. That's what they are. I'll right, teach okay. you to take crappy pictures. <laughs> That'll teach you to try and, you know, see the stars. <laughs> Get back down in your place, heathen. Uh, right, what are we going to do? Well, we'll no, we'll head north and we'll skim the edge of the map. 
And we'll explore uh, that. Oh, here's some surface iron for you. Might as well get it. It's, it's right here. A couple of veins here as well, I think. Isn't there somebody settled right up there, that way? No. I thought I saw some houses. There you go, it's behind you. I've thrown, I've thrown my piece in the pit so you can go down and get it. Get on. You stone pick scumbag. <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't need that, don't need that. Right, okay. Let's uh, keep going. Oh, more iron here. Oops. There's a couple in there as well, if you want to pick them up as well. Alright, right, okay, let's uh <clears throat> I don't wanna to have to go through jungle again. Oh we're gonna to have to, aren't we? Feck. Or at least skim the edge of it. Oh well, let's just be prepared. I'm putting uh I'm putting me health potions on. Oh, no, I don't. Um, I just go in my back. I just use my back garden. Um, at some point, I might go into a darker area, but there's that one. area up there, there's, a spider here. Yeah. Spider right in front. I know. I see him. Let's get the bows and arrows out. You got bow and arrows, anybody? Yep. Yep. Um. There's two of them. Oh, that missed. Got you. There's another one behind him. Aye. Right there to the left. Oh, there's another one! Oh, got you, bastard. Yeah, no, I'm like Robin Hood, me, man. Robin Hood. Brilliant. All right, let's go collect that arrow to the left. There we go. All right, has someone got the map? Like the map out. Uh, yep. Hang on. I have to get my bow and arrow out. Yep. Because I've got I've got my bow and arrow out, so I can't really equip the map as well because I've I just don't have enough slots for all this shit. Oh, oh, you oh keep it out. I it's got coming. Sword out. He's coming. Fine, you bastard. Oh, oh, you bastard! You bastard! He he got us. He got us. Tell my family I love them. Bloody asshole. I know there's a temple over there, guys, but we've been there before. Uh, yeah, right. Okay, well, we we'll keep. We're still heading north, are we? Uh, yep. Which map are we on? There's two spiders ahead of you. Yeah, I see them. We're on map fifty. Fifty, and we are left. Are we off of it. Oh, okay. But just what? a little bit. So we need to go we're further east. Yeah, we're we'll getting we're into back the on it. A bit. No, we're back on it. Well, right. are we on the edge? Oh, for fuck's sake! I'm gonna have to just get out myself. Hold on. Not yeah, right now. Gotta go to the left a little bit. Ah, oh, right, I see. Yeah, okay. Oops. There we go. This is on the map. No. Where? Bastard. Oh, here he is. Here he is. Got him. Fucker. Who do you think you are? I want that. Get to the chopper! Cheers for the follow, fire dragon. Oh, another, another one. Oh, no. Ah! Yeah, fucker. Yeah, fuck us. Got slow going through the jungle, isn't it? Let's uh, let's just dig through, like maniacs. Oh, here he is. Oh, no! What? Oh, he's coming! Oh, shit, I, of course. He, he's come behind you. I don't know where he went. No, he's... Oh, he's up here. Nope, he went back that way. He's coming after you. Right, I'm going to move out. Move out the way. Get back. Get back. Oh, shit. 
어! 어! Got one. Got the other. Yeah, you nice. bastards. Oh! Oh, he's coming! Sweet Jesus. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Run! Almost. Oh, watch out! You got armor on! You got armor on! <laughs> you got armor on! <laughs> what are you, you fucking nutter! <laughs> oh, that's horrible. Oh, I have a bad almost. feeling about tonight. Yeah, I know. So many almosts. I know. A little bit more and we should have it filled out. What was that? What's going on? What? Something's got hit. Fuck. Oh, what? getting hit. Oh, no! You alright? Poisoned. Behind us! Oh! Oh! <laughs> this is great. Are you all right? Food poisoned. Yeah, that's fine. It just it goes away after about twenty seconds. If you open your inventory, it tells you how long it's got. Let's keep moving. Ah, you got to keep your food full up as as much as you can. Oh! 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 Shit! In hell! No! Oh, no! You bastard! Fucker! Oh, you actually picked up that, your uh, I can't pick it up. I'm, I'm full. My inventory's full. No, no, I got that. Uh, right, nearly there. Nearly there. Got to chop this tree down now. That's the rule. This one down now, that's the rule. Oh, I see another spider over there. Kill him. Hey, he's up there a ways. We all ah! Ah! Oh. He's coming! Oops. Oops. You got him? <laughs> right, we're through the jungle now. We might as well just loop around on the outside of the jungle rather than go back through it. So let's get across here. Uh, Liquid's currently winning on the death count. There's one behind that us. That happened. I can't jump. Ah, he's behind! Come and get me! Shit. I can't. We're, it, we see if we're standing in the same place. I can't shoot. Yeah, no, sorry. So we uh, we kind of have to try and keep close but separate. In a, if you know what I mean. Uh, yeah, Liquid has the least amount of deaths, I think. Oh no, actually, technically, Madam Gold has the least amount of deaths. Right, let's quickly get across this, uh... I went down and through here, yeah, like... Oh, there, right. uh... Um... Let's just dig into here. Oh, someone block that up. There we go. Right, okay. Whew.
don't need those jungle wood. I'm going to throw that shovel away because it's nearly dead anyway. Although saying that, it is unbreaking three, so I'll keep it. Aye, digital medic. Oh, uh, we're playing better than wolves. <laughs> He's Goras. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're playing better than wolves mod. Uh, that's it. Stop throwing donuts down. I'm, I'm my, space is a, them. my space is at a premium. <laughs> you know donuts are a dessert, right? So you don't actually get much hunger from them. Half of a peg. Yeah. They're only good for building up fat. So if you... The, the, the thing about desserts is that you can still eat them when you're full. So when you've got... When you're full hunger bars, you can still eat desserts. And so you gain you gain fat. So that's what they're useful for. Uh, yeah, let you gain fat layers. If I can't. But I don't tend to do that. I just tend, tend to let fat build up over time. It just naturally does as you um, eat foods before you're close to the end, if that makes sense, you know? Like, so I've got two. I've got two uh, drumsticks available. Sorry, empty. Two empty food drumstick things. And if I was to eat a kebab now. Uh, Cabal's just all four, so yeah. Yeah, that's right. I mean, if you've got one, like I've got two and a half hunger bars covered in f fat. So when it, me hunger goes down, it'll use that, the bar that's half covered in fat, it'll use that, and then it'll use up the fat before it moves on to the next hunger. Drumstick. So, yeah, that's good. Mushrooms are a terrible one to eat. I mean, they only give, I think, one sixteenth or something of a bar. They're really ridiculous. So, yeah. You can get obese as well. You can get fat, plump, chubby, and then obese. And, uh, and they have the same kind of effect as if you're starving, so when you get plump, you can't sprint. And then when you get like, I can't, I, I don't know if it's chubby or I can't remember. I can't remember the order of them, but there's like, you know, the next one you don't move as well, like move as fast. And the next one, you can't jump. And then the one after, you just move really slowly, and you you mourn every time you move. Um, and your I'm character people. Kind of like regular fat people, yeah. And you can't... Uh, your your actual character gets visibly fat as well. So, like, you, you, your guy, he gets actually big. So, it's it's quite hilarious. I did a video on it once, but I don't think I ever uploaded it. It was part of a stream. And we were howling. We were doing the tests and if, if fat and what happens. It's funny, though. It's good if you want to go AFK for a long time. Get yourself obese. And you can go AFK for like three or four hours. Um, I think. I went AFK. I think. Because I, I went AFK. I wanted the. Uh, I can't remember what I wanted to do. I think I was wanting to get some XP out the trap or something. And I ended up going AFK and watched a film or something. And uh, and I set myself to. I made. I made basically made myself obese. I got like. I don't know. Nearly all the hunger bars were full. It was, uh, but so you can, it's quite useful for that. Ugh. It's 
deer like yet. Nah, Jesus. Yeah, I've got a clock on. No. What? A 30 year old bloke who died? No, you have to be more specific. A few people have died in the last few days. Crazy bloody terrorists. Ow, 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 ow. Ah, oh, really? I have absolutely zero sympathy. Ow. Oh my God, I've got itchy legs though, I tell you. Ah, uh, Christopher Lee, that's a shame. So this guy just died from being fat. Oh, I'm tired, digital. <laughs> Sorry. No, I'm fine. Like I'm just, I'm just tired. So I'm. We're just at a lull because we're just waiting for the night to pass. Um. But yeah. Um. But yeah, I'm quite tired. Um. Because I just ate, so I'm full, and I'm just like, oh, I'm very sluggish. I'm like, oh, need a cup of coffee apparently. Oh, 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 oh. oh, it is. Oh, wait, you should see her. Uh, there's a, um, there's a, a, a well-known restaurant uh, that's changing its menu shortly. <clears throat> and uh, they are putting on a burger that is absolutely despicable. Like, I'm actually um, ashamed. <laughs> I should tell you about the one I ate. It's ridiculous. What so what, you what's, like? what's, what's, well, what's your one? Oh, they, uh, I'll have to Google it. Um, it's probably out there somewhere. I mean, it hasn't been officially released yet. Uh, but, uh, so the one I... There's a place called Greece downtown. If, if uh, anyone wants to see it... Yeah, this is it. I don't know. I'll, I'll, uh, I want to show you the, the picture without showing you the restaurant. <laughs> Add on a second. Uh, well, it's it's this one. There, that's it. I mean, that's that's that is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. Um, oops, didn't mean to do that. It's basically um, it's a it's it's like a it's like a Big Mac. Except using full size burgers, so you've got like the you got the burger base. It's all a brioche bun, obviously, so it's full of sugar. Um, that's the idea. It's meant to like look like something that you see on Man vs. Food. Uh, it's a challenge burger. Did you put the picture on the webcam. I did just now, uh -huh. I but I've 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 just took it off. Um, are you watching it now, like? Oh, there you go. Yeah, I can see it. Oh, you see, it, yeah. So you've got the you've got the burger base, you've got onion and tomato, and you've got like a burger meal, which is basically um, ketchup meal and uh, ground up pickles and mustard. That's the burger meal, and uh, and you get tomato. So you get your burger as well. I can't remember what burger. I think it's a seven. Ounce, I think it's basically a pound of meat, because I think the burgers are seven ounces. So obviously seven and seven is fourteen. Fourteen ounces of one pound. Is that right? That's one. That's right. Sixteen yeah. ounces. All oh, right, so, well, roughly then. I mean, you know, Sun's I up. think the seven so, ounces. So, right, okay. So it's about the size of a normal burger over here. Oh, probably, yeah. I mean, obviously in America, I mean, they're ridiculous over there. But for for over here, but obviously you've got the you've got the burgers, but then you've got like those things above the burger. They're mozzarella sticks, so they're basically mm -hmm. it's deep fried mozzarella battered, and then you've got bacon. And then you've got another burger base, and then you've got more onion, tomato, more burger meal. Then you've got another burger. You've got, fr deep, um, it looks like fried onions, um, a layer of American cheese, more bacon, and then the burger lid. 
I mean, art kicked off when I saw it, like... I was just like, where's your responsibility? Like, seriously, the obese people are already causing a huge drain on the NHS, and you're basically going to contribute to obesity. That's what you're actually doing, and I'm going to be a part of it, and I feel sick. And they were just, they were just, they, f they found it hilarious, and I was just like, this isn't actually a laughing matter. This is, this is actually ridiculous. And, uh, but, pff, clearly my pleas are going to fall on deaf ears. What can I do? So... Oh yeah, the place I work, they do great burgers. Their, their burgers are actually good. They're, they're very tasty. Um, but there are definitely certain people that I serve that really shouldn't be there. You know, like really shouldn't be there. It's ridiculous. Um, and the kids as well. The kids shouldn't be there. I mean, you know, there's so many fat kids around. It's just ridiculous. And uh, I think it should be considered actual full-on child abuse um definitely 100 percent with that all right so you ready for this uh this burger i had oh yeah go on then come on then all right Lay it's it on the, us. Grease, it, the, the restaurant's called grease it's a burger place right um it's called the grease beast oh, so God. it's <sighs> a signature it's their regular cheeseburger except we're gonna have to go through this jungle by the way oh sweet and, uh... um so it's a bacon so the, cheeseburger, but instead yeah. of buns, you have two, oh, God. Oh, one Jesus. each, for one for the top, one for the bottom, bacon Jesus. cheese grilled sandwiches. Oh my God. Then oh, you have a bacon oh, cheeseburger inside of that, with onion rings, with ranch dressing and cheese sauce. That's just wrong. <laughs> that is so wrong on so many different levels. I mean, Jesus. And you know what, though? Like, and then you you go to, I mean, obviously, and now it's, it's cliched to use the old, oh, there's people starving in Africa, blah, blah. But you literally cast your eyes over there and see the difference. It's absolutely unreal. I mean, how, I mean, how can this actually be real and actually be happening? I mean... So, so, the two ends of so many far apart spectrums, like, it's crazy. Like, people are dying of starvation, and like, we're eating things like that. It's horrible. It's horrible, though, really. It's, it's just, oh. Ugh. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, shit, you bastard. Yeah, you scumbags. Tell you what, I'd eat that spider if I could. That'll teach him. Oh! Not again. You can fuck right off. Oh, man! Another one? I'm hurt. Get me armor on here, like. Where are we going? Back south? Yeah, we're, going yeah, well, we're just, just, we're just uncovering the map. We're just, we're just going to cover the map. Obviously, the jungle is the hardest part to do, but I don't want to skip it because we'll just have to come back at, at some point and get it anyway, so... Oh, right. Are you collecting this jungle wood? Me? Because, no. I mean, yeah, you might as well. I mean, you're going to need it, I'd imagine. You don't have any, do you? So, might as well have it. I've got my map out, so... Alright, okay, cool. Well, I keep getting mine out every the now spider, and then. Oh, no, oh, no, you fucking bastards. The arrow. Another one up there to the right. I see. Where? Just to your right, to a couple of trees over. On the tree or below the tree? On. Uh, he's on top of the tree. You see him, Void? Yeah, I see him. The big one or the little one? I don't see. I don't see jack shit. There he is. Oh, there's a drop here. I don't see him. I'm gonna shoot my arrow. He's he's right behind that where that arrow landed. Really? I don't see him. He's gonna come up and rip your face. He went a bit further back. It's two. I think they're stuck under. No, because he's just on top. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. Round the side. Keep the thing between them. Between them. Oh. Oh! <laughs> 
this is brilliant. All right, okay, let's. Uh... Oh, we don't want to miss that pixel over there, though. Looks like down there. What? It's just a cave. Yeah. I can't eat, can I? Junk food is cheaper than than uh, than good food. Yep. That's why a lot of Americans eat junk food. Well, apart from the fact that they're just, you know, gluttonous pigs. <laughs> oh, shit! No! I'm hurt, me! I'm hurt! Why? Well, I'm get... injured, because I've got a spider right in my face. Oh, another one. Aye. He, he came out <laughs> oh, shit! They're coming out of nowhere. Coming out of the goddamn walls, man. Uh, we're, yeah, we're so, almost at the edge of the jungle here. Right, okay, let's get the hell out of here. Let's get the hell out of here. We've uncovered that jungle, haven't we? We've got that done. That's so. That's done. Right, okay, let's keep going. Jesus. Fucking jungles, man. Nightmare Finished. places. Uh, right. I think there's a bug with the texture for me, for um, jungle leaves. What is that like? What's happening? When I look through them, I can see, um, well, lava and stuff way, way, way down there. Oh, really? Yeah, that's happened with a couple of things before. I don't know how to fix it. I mean, if you hold F3 and press T, it'll reload the texture pack. It might crash the game, but then all you have to do is reload it, come back in, and uh, that fixes the problem. Well, I think it fixes the problem anyway. Um, right, let's work our way south then. And cover this edge of the map. The fact of the matter is, eating healthily is slightly more work than eating unhealthily. Um, so most people, you know, out of laziness or lack of interest or whatever, will just eat unhealthily. Uh, I mean, I've done the same. You know, I mean, I, I, I mean, I'm not exactly in it. Well, yeah, I mean, that's the sad truth. It does, you know, it tastes better. It depends who you are, I suppose, but. Generally, yeah. I mean, I like the taste of like healthy food. Like, you know, I, I like a bit of you know, a good bit of salmon. Um, you know, and, and I like me, um, I like me asparagus and me tender stem broccoli. I do like them, but you know, they are an arson to do. And also, you know, a Big Mac tastes better. It just, it just does, you know. But it's designed to taste better because they, are, it's full of sugar and it's full of fat. So you know. Um, I think we can jump off here into this water. Oh, I didn't know that might... Oh, let's go down the waterfall. Well, that's a cool little... Yeah. Whee! It's getting dark like so. Careful, Void Majors, a cow over there. <laughs> <laughs> it was my own cows, even. I know, turn the back on. Turn the, turn the, uh, turn on you. I went and got some animals the other day. Um. Oh, well, yeah, actually, yeah. Of course you have cows now, so yeah, you got, yeah. Where'd you get them from? I just... Shrimp, uh, not shrimp. Fucking, <laughs> um... <laughs> Fucking shrimp. Squid. Squid. Yeah. <laughs> Squid, <laughs> shrimp. Calamari out there. There's some calamari. Careful. I just to walk across calamari. one hill and there were animals. One hill away? Yeah. Wow, A lot of them. okay. It's getting so here. I got cows and uh, pigs. And then the cows killed all the pigs. 
Oh, well, you can't, yeah, you can't put them in the same pen. I know. That's a rookie that mistake, now too. Ah, rookie mistake. Yeah, definitely. Lethal. Eh? Uh? Leth. Oh, shit. Oh, hello. Um, oh, broken a cave here. Right. Cave. There we go. Oh well, we can live in here for the night. Get our feet wet, go for a paddle. There you go, skinny dipping. Not be gay. Yeah. Not be gay, aye. No homo. Oops. We got a little, ah. little scavenger over there. Get the coal, get the coal. Let me go see what uh, my dog's barking at. Right, no worries. Be a burger. Do you plan on getting some cats? Someday? Um, yeah, at some point, probably. It's not It's not really a major issue right now. Um, I mean, we carry shears on us. We're very vigilant, and our town's quite well lit, so we don't really have much of a problem with creepers. Um, so, you know, yeah. Oh yeah, you see, I don't like, I don't use microwaves if I can help it. I mean, I get a lot of ready-made meals from Marks and Spencers and stuff because they're just awesome, and it annoys me when I see on the back for best results microwave, which it's blatantly it's lies. Best results microwave? You mean quickest results? It's awful. Like I mean, I had a, um, I mean, I'll just ref flatly refuse now. I'll do everything either in the oven or in the pan. Even the microwave rice, I did it what the other day. I hide it in me uh, wok. I just got the rice out of the packet, I just tore the packet open, threw the rice in a wok, put a little bit of water in, and a little bit of uh, sesame oil, and just fried it up. It, it took cooking? the same amount of time. It was just it was just the microwave, we get microwave rice, so all you have to do is hide the microwave for two minutes, you know? It's great. But, um, Stealthy's just saying about with the invention of microwave, cooking's become a lost art, and I'm saying how I really don't use the microwave barely at all. It saps the flavour out of the food. It absolutely saps the flavour completely. And uh, and so what I'll do is any like if I get meals, ready-made meals and stuff, I'll never put them in the microwave. I'll always put them in the oven because the the, the flavours are just so much better. And uh, even the rice now, I I was uh, I cooked the rice in me wok the other night, threw it in, threw some oil in, and cooked it up. Two or three minutes, like you know, same amount of time as it takes in the microwave, really. And uh, it just tasted much better. Much better. It's great. What do you mean, even the rice? Is that the preferred way? I've finished work for the day, Crow. Uh, Crow. It's half past nine. Half past nine in the, in the evening. No one works at half past nine unless they're sad and have no life. So I'm playing my games. What'd you say? Sorry, Void. I said, you said even the rice, not in the microwave. Is that the normal way? Because I've never heard anyone use the microwave to make rice well yeah it's special it's special microwave rice you get them in packets and it's already kind of been cooked so it's not dried rice it's like it's right. like moist rice but it's in a packet so you'll you'll tear the packet it's like like it's like, like a plastic packet you'll tear the tear a, a one centimeter um like slit in the bag and you put it in the microwave for a minute and a half and it comes out, and I mean, to be fair, it does a good job. It's a minute and a half, you know what I mean? It's What's very quick. What's the point of that? I mean, it's like ready-made noodles. Well, no, it's it's not as bad as ready-made noodles. You the rice is actually not too bad. Boiling water in like 15 minutes. Well, this takes a minute and a half. It's yes, 15 times it's, less, it's less. less time. It's 15 times less time, yeah. Quick, quick, not quick. as many. Yeah. It's not as it's it's not as many. It doesn't take as long. At the end of the day, I mean, yeah, I'm all on board. Well, I say that I'm all on board with microwave rice. However, I'm now cooking it in the wok because it actually just tastes tastes great. So maybe microwave rice, but you can still cook it in the wok, and it's brilliant. So you know, it takes us two to three minutes to do the rice, which is brilliant because I can't be asked to. I mean, boiling in the bag rice, you know, fifteen minute get get the pan heated up, you know, the water, put the rice in, drain it, all that crap. Can't be asked. Hoy it in a pan, cook it, two to three minutes, done. It's great. 
That's great. Yeah, that's uh, Uncle Ben's has that stuff all over the place here, the microwave rice. Yeah, that's, that's what we've got. It's Uncle Ben's. It's long grain rice. That's what I get. It's got yep. the wild rice in it as well. It's canny. Um, yeah. <coughs> Seems absurd to me. Like well, making I mean, something that's... that's really, really simple, very, very complicated, just to make it a little quicker. Well, it's it's less complicated. Well, somebody Cause... had to work. Yeah, somebody had to put all this uh, well, engineering into it. Well, I mean, at the end of the day, it's rice and it's in a plastic bag. Whereas right. the rice that you put in the pan is also rice in a plastic bag. It's not really much more complicated. I mean, yeah, I suppose it's kind of pre-cooked in a way. Or however, or pre-soaked in water. I, I mean, obviously rice, you know, is it's obviously soaked in water, isn't it? So it's got its moistness and it plumps up. That's what happens to rice. But Although, the, no, actually, isn't your rice in a bag more complicated because they have to freeze dry it? What? No. Where it, it, how does rice grow? Because rice doesn't grow freeze dried, does it? So Freeze dried? What are you talking about? Well, the rice in the bag, the boil in the bag rice. I never buy boil in the bag rice. Well, what kind of rice do you buy? Just regular fucking rice. Well, how, what does that look like? Bag or... right. I mean, I, I don't even Normal know what rice. regular rice looks like then. Because <laughs> the rice I've always known has been boil in the bag, freeze dried rice. That's how it's always been over here. Because that's how, I mean, it's easier to transport because it takes up less space. Um, so I guess that's how it works. So you get boil in the bag rice, and you put it, it's in the bag. You hoe it in a pan, and it's in the bag, and you boil you it, cook, and it plumps. You up. can cook boil in the bag rice the same way as normal rice. It's exact same thing, but pretty much. What does normal rice look like? It looks exactly if you cut open a bag of boil in the bag, it looks exactly yeah. like it. Um, but like <laughs> all right, so so normal rice is just basically freeze dried rice. No, it's not freeze. Uh, I mean, it's, how... not, it's not freeze dried, but it's... well, how does yeah? But it's so f fresh rice off the plant. I mean, I don't know how rice is. I mean, rice is grown in in you know China and all this on the sides of mountains and shit, isn't it? Those rice fields. Oh no, yeah. no, that's not rice. In the rice fields where it's all the rice fields, it, you need a lot of water for rice, don't you? you need like a boggy yeah, area, don't rice you? Rice paddies. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. So I'd imagine rice is full of water when it's picked or whatever i don't know how it I looks think i'm pretty sure they dry it out because i mean i can buy a 50 pound bag of it at um like the um i don't know what the hell you call them costco over here it's like a yeah yeah you, you know you can buy bulk stuff that one of those places so you can buy a 50 pound bag of that just for like 10 bucks and that will last you forever and it's all dry yeah well it's, i wonder uh, if they have like to any other grain like like but, wheat for example do they have yeah. to? All oh, right, so it's already dry when it's yeah. picked. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. Well, that's fair enough. Well, it's it thresh because there's uh, there's this kind of skin around the um, rice. Corn. Right. No. Thingy. All right. Fair enough. Well, yeah. I mean, I I don't know how much more production process this uh, microwavable rice goes through, but it's already moist and ready to hoe in a pan and cook up. It's quick. At the end of the day, it's great. <laughs> And I like it, but like I say, I mean, I I was we normally just use the microwave because it, it's just easy and it's just quick, you know, and it's still it's still good for you, you know what I mean. So it's great. But then I did it in the pan, and I was like, I don't like using the microwave, and so I did it in the pan the other day, and it was brilliant, much better. So it's a spider rider right over there. That's fine. They're normal spiders. It's no big deal. Right. Let's stick to the edge of the map, and we'll go south. The reason we're discussing rice in such detail is because Void Mage is judging me for liking microwave rice. So I'm just I'm <laughs> no, fighting just my confused. corner. It was the first time I heard of that. You're angry. That's what you are. You're angry. That's that. Uh, You're rice no, elitist. The creeper behind you. <laughs> rice elitist. Oh! <gasps> creeper Where's behind the creeper? you. Where's the creeper? Oh, there he is. Ah! Hello. <laughs> Jeez, there's another wow. creeper above you. Where? Up on the, Where? Up on the hill over there, see? Oh, yeah, that's fine. He's miles away. He's oh. not hurting anybody. Oh, shit in hell. That was amazing. Alright. What? Right. Russian flag? Really? People have been putting the red, white, and blue of the Russian flag over their profile pictures. It's so sad. Why? I mean, you know. Could, well, because they hate gays? They hate gays, aye. I mean, 
You know, come on. Live and let live. I mean, you know what? Wait, I don't there, get There's even... no red, white, and blue in the Russian flag. Yes, there is. Is, is there? It? Yeah. Oh, know. you know, I'm, know what thinking of, I'm thinking of the USSR flag. That's why. Are you not thinking of the Pirate Bay flag? Black and white. No, I was thinking, of, I was thinking of the old. Bones. I was thinking of the sickle and thingy, the old USSR. Oh, one. yeah, the red and yellow one. It was red and yellow, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, wasn't it red and yellow? It was just red and, and yeah. yellow. Um, sickle and, and sickle. hammer on the side. Alright, so what are they, they- OH I FUCKING HELL! Ah! <laughs> oh, <laughs> it looked like yeah. I kept dropping! Really? Oh my god, look behind us! It's all around <laughs> oh. us! Get, oh, Jesus, get let's this. get the hell out of here. Let's get off the sand, everything's about to kill us. Sweet Jesus. <laughs> Alright. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. All right, so why are they doing that? Is it because of the the whole gay marriage thing? Well, Rush, Russia don't like the gays, do they? Well, shouldn't they just yeah, change their... Yeah, didn't they their... make it illegal? Uh, they made... No, they didn't, actually. That This is I what they everyone... they illegal to be gay no, or something stupid. No, they didn't. They made it illegal to promote being gay to under-16s. I'm pretty sure that's all oh. they're guilty of. To promote... No, not just being gay. It was to promote um, unorthodox... Um, you know, relations kind of thing. So the kind of the kind kind of group gayness in with um, what you call it, something else that was that, that, that's supposed to be bad. Um, witchcraft. <laughs> <laughs> witchcraft. Yeah. No, it was something like sexual, like. Uh, oh, deviance. Yeah, it was something like that. Yeah, it was basically no, we, deviance. It was. End. Look, slime was eaten. Oh, we are there, right? Okay, let's uh, head west then. Yeah, so that, that's what they're, that's what they're guilty of. Um, it's basically, I think, from what I can gather, is um, to avoid confusing kids. That's I think that's what they. I mean, remember, America demonize. They'll they'll have any excuse to demonize Russia. You know what I mean? I, I don't think um, the idea might necessarily be that bad, but it's not. I don't know. It's 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 a weird one that because obviously I'm all like I'm all you know in favor of you know gay people obviously being gay and being able to marry who they want and be with who they want, clearly, you know. I mean, I, I can't imagine why anyone would really want them not to be. It doesn't affect you at all. That's the biggest yeah. thing. It's like, it doesn't it doesn't affect you. It's their life. They can do what they want, you know. Even if they're in the wrong, who cares? It's, you know, it's them that's going to have to deal. I mean, say they go to hell, you know, it, you're not going to have to deal with that. Don't worry about it, you know what I mean? It's them that's going to hell, even if, you know... Even if you believe in that, it, oh, it's it's just crazy. So all these Christians are like, oh, you're going to go to hell. So what? Get on with your own life. Don't judge other people. Fucking freaks. Read your own Bible. But um, but with Russia and their thing about yeah, that uh, from what I can, from what I remember that I read of it. Oh shit! You're slipping again. Oh my god. From what I remember, from what I read of it, it, it was this. It basically they 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 are banning the. Um, uh, pro gear material to kids under 16 and it was something else as well it, it, it was basically all encompassing sexual deviance and uh, and they c consider gayness to be that or gay homosexual behavior or whatever the hell you want to call it these days um, um we'll so that's what they want. yeah we'll kind of just kind of go to swing around and just kind of work our way and just uncover the whole thing as we go you know <clears throat> <clears throat> Can I jump into that water? Yeah. Come on then. Oh, oh whatever. Whatever. I don't, I don't. You gotta love. I am gay, gay, gay. I love long, big cocks. I'm a super, super gay. I love long, big cocks. What? Good for you. I know. I think there's pixels over it I need to get. Is that? Oh yeah, got to get those pixels. Oh, careful in the desert. Oh, I don't like this. Yeah, I'm going around at me like, screw that. Boah. His reactions remind me of Mac. Why, what had Mac, uh, what was Mac's reaction out like? Mm. 
in the jungle over there. Russians. I, no, he just says his reaction reminds me of Mac. I don't know what. Uh... Oh right, what my my screaming reaction? You talking about sticks or me? Oops. All right. There's a desert all uncovered. Aye, that's cool. Good Casimir. Careful. Oh, there's two enemies out there. Oh, God, I've, I've looked at them. <laughs> I didn't think I had, but turns out I have. Where are you? I'm around the... Uh, I'm, I'm in iron armor like so I'm around I the corner you. I don't know where you guys are I was I'm just next uncovering the map I'm on top I'm of this big, big uh... hill I don't know what big hill you're up oh there you are I'm near the lava alright look up turn around oh you're over there right okay uh, jump down into the waterfall <laughs> it's a lava waterfall but I'm sure you'll be fine where are you void on top of a hill, I don't see you guys. Uh, oh, there you are, yeah. See us? Northeast? Ah, yeah, no, I see you. Oh, no, that's a cow. Uh, oh, is that you? Oh, that's you. Me. Yeah. Yeah, I was there arguing with you. Um... See us? What? Hold on. Oh, right. <laughs> Um, I was arguing with Christians the other day on Facebook. That's a lot of fun. Not a good idea. No, oh, no, it's great. I love it. It was about um. Oh no, was it a Muslim? It might have been a Muslim. This guy kept going on and on about how um Allah is the creator of everybody, and you can't deny the truth. And then he was saying that other people were wrong. It's like, but you know, he was saying no. He's like, you're wrong. You can't deny the truth that Allah created everybody. It's like, yeah, but you know, you don't. And he said, I can't remember what he said. He said something specific like. Uh, it was about someone, something said, it was like, no, no, like, you're wrong. Like, Allah created everybody, you can't deny the truth. It's like, no, but, like, you don't know that that's the truth, you know? Oh, yes, I, I, I know it's the truth. Yeah, but so do I. I know that this is the truth, so who's right? And he's just like, well, I'm right, you you have to read the Quran. No, I don't, because, you know, you know, I, I, I'm right. And uh, and it just went on like that. It was. I mean, obviously, yeah, you don't get anywhere, but it's fun just to just wind them up. And um, yeah, it was just like yeah, you've got to you you know the the, the Quran um, the Quran's right. You got to read it, and uh, if you read it, you'll see that it's 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 right, and it can't be any other way. And that you were saying how the Bible and the and the uh, the Torah is it is that the Jewish thing, the two Jewish book, the Torah. Uh, I think so. Yeah. Is yeah. the Bible and the Torah have Sounds been right. have been changed and altered, but the Quran has never been altered. Blah blah, because it's the word of God, etc. And Allah is the creator, and you've got to be. You gotta, you gotta, you can't deny that there is a God, um, because that's the biggest sin. Blah blah blah. And um, and then so, and then, oh, what's happening? Oh, and then behind me. And I was talking with it, and then I was saying to a Christian the other day. Um, this Christian said g gave the old argument about, um, you know, what if you're wrong, and, and you know, and, and you die, and you, and you're up at heaven, and God's there. And I was like, well, then I'll say, oh, fair enough, I believe in you. You know, he's like, oh, yeah. you deny God, and uh, what if you, you're standing there? And I'll be like, well, God created me the way I am, so, you know, in his infinite wisdom and omnipotence, he already knows that I need concrete evidence in order to believe in him. And so when he shows himself, he'll know already that he'll give me exactly what I needed. And so he'll not need to ask me what my opinion is, because he'll already know my mind, because he created me. And then he'll know that I believe in spider. him. And the spider. Let me in. spider! I'm not anywhere near you. I'm still you, out on here. Hey boy, you it's get getting out dark, man. Yeah, you get, get out of the water. water. I'm staying up here. I'm going to dig in the ground. And the guy didn't reply. I'm just like, yeah. See ya. Because there's nothing to reply to that. That's, you know, it's true. It's 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 silly. The whole concept, I've not, I mean, I haven't believed in hell for a while. I, I kind of have a belief in, in some kind of heaven. 
Um, maybe not the way that the Christians portray it. You know, oh, happy dancing around. Oh, yay. Oh, look, there's my granddad. Yay. Mm, whatever. Um, but I think um, I don't believe in a hell because that doesn't make logical sense. What logic is there in an infinitely all-powerful being that knows everything and has everything at its fingertips and, you know, knows what has been and what will be and everything you can you can imagine and not even imagine. He knows it all and has done it all and is it all and exists everywhere at all times. What's the point in him giving us a test? What 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 possible reason, logic or otherwise, would you need to give a test to your own creation? Well, he right, works in mysterious uh, ways. Well, even if he works in mysterious ways, there's there's no there's no point in that. That's just silly. That's a silly it's idea. Mysterious. No, but your thing is, if I can consider it silly. Then surely you know a the god's Christian not going to think it's a good he idea. He gave us free will, and therefore yeah, exactly. he can test us. So that's the no, but if he, 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 yeah, but if he gives us free will, how can he punish us for you know do? That's like basically saying, uh, right, we're, there's no laws; you can go around and murder someone. But if you do, we're gonna we're gonna punish you. Yeah, but remember, it's like, but you know, but like, we, but you've just said we can go murder people. Yeah, you can go on, go on, do it, go on. They ate from the tree of life, so they know good and bad. Therefore, they are punishable. That's the Christian idea. It's bullshit, I agree. That's mm. how they call it. Yeah, but I just don't understand why uh, an omnipotent God, who apparently loves us, would actually send us to hell. We, and and that's, another, that's another thing that leads on from my point. It's like, what's the point in sending us to hell? Yeah, what's we can't the point? learn from our mistakes. But what's the point in going to hell? What, what, what does it accomplish? We can't learn from our mistakes. That's pointless. And if he made us in our own image, he can't be a vengeful god because I am not a vengeful person. You know, I'm not an absolute twat. I have a lot of good in me, so does the rest of the human race. Yeah, I mean, when you group up people together, they can be tossers. But singularly, people are generally good. Yeah, you got a few bad apples. But people are generally good, and especially to those that we love. I mean, you know... I mean, I personally would never screw over my family and all this, and I love my family, I love my friends. And, you know, and the support, they say that God is supposed to love you and the love that God has is infinitely, infinite times more uh, powerful than anything a human being could ever comprehend. It's like, yeah, but I would never send any of my family to hell, so how can God possibly profess to send any of us to hell if he loves us this much? Bollocks. Logic fails. It's nonsense, man. Fails. And that's not even getting into the fact that the Bible was written by men hundreds of years after the facts. And, you know, if we know anything from men and women, you know, from the from the Chinese Whispers game. You know what I mean? Like, second-hand, third-hand knowledge just gets altered. And when, especially when you filter it through the, the, the time, you know, the medieval, 2,000 years ago, whatever, it's filtered through... A time that you know change. I mean, look at look at what just happened in the last few days. Gay marriage was legalized in America. I mean, before you'd have a lot of people saying, you know, oh yeah, but you know you can't get married. But now you can. That society just been changed from one day to the next. It's just been changed, and that's a day. Forget about two thousand years of society change. And then these people are still taking the Bible literally. Fucking idiots, man. It's a lack of education. It's all it is. A lack of education. The need to adapt, the need to adapt their Bible and use it for what it was always intended, a guide, a guide on how to build a better life, a guide on how to be a better version of yourself and a better human being. That's all it's for. Everything that's negative in the Bible, you can just throw out the window because it that was basically the influence of man. That's man's influence on the Bible. Everything good in the Bible, great. Call it God's work, call it God's will, call it God's voice. But everything that's negative is was written by the men and was added in there. You know, I mean, even if they did receive the, this word, this these words from God and whatever, they'll have received them and thought, "Oh yes, love everybody, yeah, except gay people." Yeah, I'm not having gay people. I'm not loving a gay person, so I'll just put a gay people. Everyone who wrote the Bible had their own agenda, no doubt about that. Come on, let's not be silly. Love everybody. That was the message, and it just got got distorted by the men that wrote the book. Fucking idiots. They probably didn't even realize how much of an impact they'd have on the rest of the world for thousands of years. <laughs> Can you imagine having that much power? Crazy, man. So I'm bored of talking about religion now. Let's talk about something else. Ah, 
that's another thing. The, uh, what you call it. Um. <laughs> I see you. Oh, wait, that's a cow. A big, fat cow. Never mind. <laughs> that's good. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, that's a funny thing about Christians, you know, like, oh yeah, you're going to hell. Wait a minute, did you just judge me? No, what else was it? Oh, it was another one. It was another thing I was having, a guy I was having an argument with. He was a Christian and he was quoting. Someone was saying, oh, it doesn't say in the Bible about not being gay and stuff. And he quoted, he quoted a passage in the Bible and it was like Timothy 1.10, I think. And it was saying about don't lie with other men. Um, blah blah blah. But I had a list of things, and in it was, um, you, oh, you'll be cast into hell. Blah blah. blah. And it was like, um, homosexuality, um, slave slavery, and all this. And it had liars. Well, that was great, because I quoted the passage, and I was like, so, when was the last time you told a lie? Then, come on, mate, and be honest, because you'll go to hell if you lie. So, come on, it's bollocks. You know, or you can't be gay. Well, then you can't lie either then. So, you know, don't lie. Crazy, man. Crazy. Westboro Baptist Church. Well, they... They're what's just a to bunch say? of cunts. What's yeah. to say? They're just a bunch of cunts. They're basically the Christian version of ISIS, you know? Yeah. Except not as lethal. And they don't have the... You know, they don't have the balls to actually carry out what they say should happen. You know, like if they were, uh, if they were, you know, if if they just went one step further, yeah, they could they could be like an ISIS, couldn't they? But the, they'd know if they actually try to do anything about their beliefs, um, they'd get wiped off the planet. I mean, come on, I'm surprised they haven't been wiped off the planet. I'm surprised that some crazy ass fucking redneck hasn't taken an automatic rifle and gone and visited them people and wiped them off the planet. I mean, you know, it wouldn't be that hard to find out where they all lived. Let's be honest. I mean, I've never tried, but it wouldn't be difficult. And I'm surprised with all the guns in America and all the crazy-ass people that have them that not one of them hasn't snapped and gone after these people. I mean, come on. Really? They probably a little bit believe in what they <coughs> go around saying anyway. Uh, yeah. Oh, the rednecks? Yeah. Mm. No, I hate gays too. Yeah. I do eat a lot of shrimp, like. I love shrimp. Man's driven cars will not go extinct for a long time. A lot of men love their cars. Um, yeah, there's always going to be that, you know... That kind Raining. of man that loved, yeah, I know I see it. Bloody assholes. Yeah, there's always going to be the kind of man that loves driving his car. I mean, look at that Mazda MX-5. I want. You know, I want it because I want to drive it. I don't want some computer to drive it for us. I don't want to sit there in it and go, eee, wow, isn't this nice? It looks like it takes the corners well, but I wouldn't know because I ain't driving. Bollocks, man. I want to make pot brownies. <laughs> Ever since we were talking about them the other night, I want to make them now. In fact, th speaking of which, well, no, not speaking of which, speaking of brownies. We've got the last brownie here. Ta-da! I hope it's not too stale, because it's been in there for a while, actually. Reminds me, I've got a... Uh, I haven't eaten one today. Have you seen, what, you're having one every day, are you? <laughs> No, I didn't have any over the week. I had one last night, and it yeah, it, it hit me pretty hard. It's take it's taking like two, three hours to kick in, but once it does, it, it yeah, you're done. Mm. Just to clarify, this is a regular brownie. I am not doing drugs live on the internet, and I would never do that because drugs are bad. Okay. Oh, but yeah, this is good. This is a tasty brownie. Hmm. 
No, I keep I keep my uh, I keep the brownies in my wardrobe because um, my mother's always on a diet, <laughs> so I have to hide the stuff. I have to hide the nice taste and things from her because she's got no willpower. It's illegal, but it's not as bad as having cocaine. No, yeah, cocaine. I think it's a, um, some time over it for that. Yeah, I, th I think it's um, well, they're talking about youth here, but I think um, it's a it's a class C drug, whereas heroin, uh, heroin and cocaine are class A. Last I checked. Um, so I mean, growing um weed is um is very bad they, they really don't like that at all um but um possession i think it kind of depends on the copper that catches you i don't think they're really ridiculously harsh i'm not sure actually i'd have to look into it um but from what i kind of the general consensus is i don't think it's you know what? I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. I'd have to look it up because I've never been caught with anything on us. <clears throat> That's because I've never had anything on me to be caught with. Oh, shit mouth. Yeah, I'm a good guy. Don't do those things. We can go, to be honest. I mean, there's no point in staying indoors yeah. when the rain's gone. Right. Uh, is Which that way are we going? Right. Oh, God. Going north well, again? There's, there's more jungle here. So, I say we go to the south and then work a strip up north if we can kind of like get across here but oh no hold on were we heading north oh we were weren't okay, we yeah. oh yeah we were okay let's keep going north and um i suppose get in the boats i just hope it doesn't go stormy We'll just work our way into that alcove there to uncover that bit and then careful of spiders. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, oh shit. Oh god, don't crash. Right, let's turn around and we'll go around back further. It's oh, legal yeah. to a point. Is that right? Oh, spiders are coming. I don't think oh. it's legal. I think the uh, boat, you alright? Oh, did you? I think you picked Well it, it ends here, so you can just swim I'm around so... if you want. Yeah, I'm fucking stuck. Shit. Coming back. I'm coming back. You all right? What's happening? Uh, dying. Where, where are you? No, nah, where are in you? In the gloom. In the gloom. What are you in the gloom for? Get out the gloom. Yeah. Dead. Oh, uh, squid's got him. Well, how? how? Did get you? I honestly don't know. God, that sucks. Uh, did all you right, have okay, anything what? important? I'm trying no, to pick I don't up think your so. Stuff here. Up what you can, but I don't think there was anything that important. Shall I make a box? That would be nice. Right, okay. You get his stuff. Well, no, I'll come down with you. I'm at Put communal. Nice stuff in the box. Oh, cool. Okay. Well, um, you could try and get back if you like. Yeah, I will. Uh, I'll make you some tools because your tools are probably down at the bottom. I'm not going to get those. Well, no, let's go. Let's go and get them. Get out your boat, and we'll go and we'll go and get a shit. Don't do anything stupid. Oh, that's fine. What a squid down there? The spiders. Yeah, we can kill the squid. We've got. Uh, what's your helmet got on it? Kill these spiders. Uh, I've only got projectile on this one. Okay. Where's that, um... Right, you got projectile. Well, I've got... 
I've got there's a box over there under that tree. Right, let me go uh, drop off half the shit I got for him. Right. Okay. Cool. Oh, they're all down there. All of his, his swords down there. There's only a couple of... Oh, they're after me and all. I didn't even go anywhere. I wonder if it's because of the... The the, the shadows underneath the... um. The shadows of the tree. The, the jungle tree. Right. Yeah, I'm coming. I'm down at the bottom. I'm collecting stuff. I'm alright, because... Uh, I've got gloom like, but you know. Right, I've got his shears as well. I don't think there's much else to get. Oh shit, I'm I'm running out of air. Oh You alright? I think so, it's a no, it's string. Right. Uh are you coming straight back to us? I'm on my way to your place. Right, okay. Um, help yourself to some food. There's some nice food in the box. Um, got a load of stone tools here that you don't need. Um, well, you know. <laughs> cool. Oh, there's your sword. I've got your sword in your ear. Alright, I'll get my stuff out and put your stuff in, actually. Just made another box. Well, it's fine, because half my stuff was in here, so I could just take mine out and put his in. Uh, I think that's it. Take me diamond sword back. That's my diamond shovel. That's his sword. Bought. Yeah. Oh, aye. Should be everything. Oh, my maps. Uh, 40, 50, 45. Did you just have map 45 and 50? Yeah. Right, okay, cool. I picked up another okay, 50 cool. from communal. You picked like up I another said, what? Another 50 from communal so I could find you. Oh, uh, right, I'll bring okay. that back then, later on. Right, anyways. Okay, uh, let's... We'll put. Uh... What time is it? What in game? Yeah. Almost midday. No, no, sorry, it's four four p.m. All right. So it'll be getting dark soon. Uh, map fifty. I. Okay. So we are. Do you know where we are on map fifty? I. Hmm, I think I know where the, we are. Where? The desert. You know, they'd the, see the desert in the southeast. Yeah. You see the little, the three little stone pixels at the top left, top left of the desert. I mean, you might as well just open your map on uh, on the stream. I can see them then. Oh, okay. Well, fair enough. It's open, so. Okay. See it. Yeah. Right. Okay. Cool. We're just gonna stay underground. I'm gonna plant a load of torches around the area so you'll be able to see it. And we're just going to duck in the ground. I just hope just I don't fall in, in um, sand. I'm going to cross in the de desert right now. Well, yeah, that would be unfortunate. Without a shovel. Oh, that's risky. Hi, Mad M C P. Hi, McLaren Mick. Have you played Assassin's Creed 4, Mesh? No, I haven't, actually. Um, I haven't played Assassin's Creed 3 yet. I know, I know, right? Uh, no, I haven't. Uh, I've only played Assassin's Creed uh, 1, 2. Uh, I played Assassin's Creed 2. I played um, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Isn't there, no. isn't there like... What's happening? Jungle Spider in desert. Really? Oh, that sucks. What the fuck? Oh, that's annoying. Oh, it's a liquid. Shh. Stop God talking about it. Oh no, he said no, no swearing on stream. Eh? God damn, it's not a swear word. All right. That's fine. It's just a C word we don't want to say.
<clears throat> ah, I get it now. I get the uh, the cord. I cracked that. Well, I didn't crack it. Thanks. The Maddie Minecraft Pocket Edition. Well, there's nothing exciting going on here, Maddie. Apart from the fact that we're in a hole in the jungle and it's raining. Oh, and squids are... And squids are lethal in this... Uh, oh, it's dark. I don't want to be out there. That's upsetting. Right, okay. Uh, What's my word? What's your what? It's a uh, gear that sticks his word. Reuben said oh, that. The C word. Oh. Not allowed to say the C word. Unless I haven't it's said that necessary. in a while. I think you said it tonight. Tonight? I think I think I think you said it tonight, actually. No. I'm sure you did. You might not no. maybe you didn't say it on stream, maybe you said it before we started. I don't know. I don't know, I can't remember. Yes, I've heard, uh, well, I've heard Assassin's Creed 3 is dire, but I can't just skip it, because it's alright to say that when you've played it, but, you know, I haven't played it. I want to see what it's about. I want to finish the story, because the last time I heard, and don't spoil it for us, anybody, but last time I heard, uh, from what I remember, I think, Desmond got bungled into a van, I think. I don't remember, it was such a long time ago. I'm actually almost tempted, and in fact, I was, I was devastated. Two, right? That was the end of Brotherhood, I think it was. There's Assassin's Creed, where you play um, Altair. Then there's Assassin's Creed 2, where you start playing Ezio. And then there's Assassin's Creed 2... Ah, oh, Revelations. That's when you I play Ezio. Confused. Yeah, when you play... No, there's Brotherhood. No, there's Assassin's Creed 2. And then there's Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. And then there's Assassin's Creed Revelations. Isn't that right? Is that yeah, right? I don't know what order they go in. That's why I got messed up. I think that is the order they go in. I think it's it, Assassin's Creed 2, then Brotherhood, then Revelations. Is there three Assassin's Creed 2s? In... What? Which one's Liberation or something? No, that's something later. Oh. There's, there's three Assassin's Creed 2s. Yeah, that's right. I know it sounds weird, but that that's... Yeah, I'm sure that's what it just is. Just fucking number them. I don't know how hard it can be. Oh, ah, yeah, nah. Seriously. Why didn't they just do it? They called... It was Assassin's Creed, and then it was Assassin's Creed 2, and then it was Assassin's Creed 2 Brotherhood. Assassin's Creed 2 Revelations. And it's like, seriously. Come on. It's called Assassin's Creed 3. And then, and then the confused things even more and came out with Assassin's Creed 3. It was like, come on. But I love playing as Ezio. When I first played Assassin's Creed 2, I was like, oh, I'm not Altair. I'm like this this filthy, greasy Italian. And, uh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> no offense against yeah. Italian people, whether you're greasy or not. And uh, I was like, oh, I'm a filthy, greasy Italian. And, uh, and, and But then by the end, I loved them. I was just like, oh, my God. And then by the end of Assassin's Creed 2, I was devastated. And I... I don't know why. I, th I don't know whether it was because it, um, he died. I'm assuming. Well, he obviously he died at some point, didn't he? I don't know if he died in the actual game. I think he did because he was did older. He? I think he did. I don't remember. I maybe have he doesn't. Flag, but I haven't maybe. Played it. Well, maybe he doesn't die, and maybe I'm. I was just sad because I knew that was the last one I'd be playing as him. And I was like, I'm good because Ezio was a badass motherfucker. So, yeah. Um, but maybe not. I don't know. Um, and then, and then, so, and obviously, Assassin's Creed Three came out, and that's when you're playing someone else. Don't you play like a, a a guy in the English in the American Revolution, some kind of Apache guy or something? See, I thought that was that Liberty one. No, it wasn't Liberty the mobile phone game. Oh, I don't know. Or was Liberty maybe a DLC for Assassin's Creed 3 that came out probably the next day? Oh, probably. Yeah. I got Black Flag, which I think is... Four. Well, Black Flag, yeah, Black